let's take a look at area battle. Each partnership will share one game board with the grid on it. Students will need a set of colored tiles and the area battle cards that are associated with their grade level. For example, set A are appropriate for um, first or kindergarten and first grade. Set B will be used for second through fifth grade. Now, students will begin by drawing a card. So let's say they draw 18. They will count out 18 colored tiles, which is what I have here. Make sure I count that right. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So the younger students will try to build a rectangle that has that target area of 18. So they may have to kind of do some trial and error to figure out the best arrangement. For example, they may start to build a rectangle and figure out it doesn't make a perfect rectangle. I have two here on this bottom row and that doesn't work. So they may have to spend some time rearranging to find different ways to do it. Once they find a way to arrange their tiles into a rectangle, they will then transform that physical model into a pictorial model. So they look at their tiles and say, okay, across the top I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. So somewhere on their area battle board using their color, they will color in nine squares. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have two rows of nine squares, so I would color in another row. Then it would be my partner's turn. They would draw a card, I drew 10, and they would repeat that process and record their rectangle somewhere on the board using their color. Now for the older students, as they find their arrangement, you can walk around and discuss what equations could be used to represent their model. For example, the model I have here, I have two rows and nine are in each row, so I could use two times nine to represent my model because I have two equal groups or two equal rows of nine tiles. Now for the older students, their clues are a little bit harder to figure out. For example, they may be given an area of 18 and a specific length. They say the area needs to be 18, but the length needs to be six. So they have a little bit more criteria to go by in order to build their rectangles. One card says, they're just given the perimeter of 20. So they have to figure out what arrangement of tiles creates a perimeter of 20 and then record the area of that figure on their game board. So we can go around, talk to students about the difference between area and perimeter. We can help them figure out what equations could be used to represent it and help them apply those area and perimeter formulas in order to figure out the target rectangle.